Exponential technology is changing the way we live, work, and play. But the human mind does not deal with exponential thinking very well. We are seemingly on the first step of a staircase that promises to carry us into an unknown future that many of us are simply not prepared for. So to understand the current states of the world's most powerful exponential technology, I have traveled to London Tech Week to meet up with some of the world's leading technologists and thought leaders to help you understand the implications of these technologies on your world. My name is Matt Brown, and this is The State of X. This is the biggest and most ambitious festival of technology this country has ever seen. Fifteen years ago, the area of King's Cross in the borough of Camden in London was a very different place to what it is today. At the time, the King's Cross area was an unsavory and even unsafe area to experience. Today, however, it is being billed as Europe's knowledge quarter. Walking through the streets of this area today, you can't help but wonder why. Why has this transformation taken place? After meeting with tech startups, entrepreneurs, and Argent, the property developers of the Knowledge Quarter, the consensus is overwhelmingly around one sentiment, the power of community. One of the most important examples of this idea is the poster child of community in the tech sector in Europe, is London Tech Week, 55,000 delegates and over 300 events in just seven days, showcasing London's leading position as a global technology hub and ecosystem. To understand what goes into pulling off an event of this magnitude and to really get under the hood of the current state of this event, I spoke to Joanna Jones, Partnership Director of London Tech Week. Okay, guys, welcome back to State of X. With me today is the incredible Joanna Jones from Informatech. How's it, Joanna? It's great. Thank you very much. There's lots of energy around here and we've got so many people coming together to talk about great inspirational ideas. Okay, so tell us a little bit about your role Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm basically the Partnerships Director for London Tech Week, which is a festival of crowdsourced events that run all across the city of London over a five-day period. So we're on our hump day today, it's Wednesday, and we're down at the massive show, which we call Techcelerate, which has AI front and centre, uh, where we expect to have about 15,000 of the total sort of 55, 60,000 people that are going to kind of get involved with the festival over the week. So let's talk about partnerships. So what's really been striking for, for us, you know, walking around uh, Techcelerate just, just this morning is how open everything is. This is very much a, a kind of like an open collaboration principle or idea that underpins a lot of this. You know, it's like Oracle was explaining, you know, giving away their IP as it related to like customer journeys. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, And there's absolutely. just so much technology on display. It's kind of like, hey, look at what we're doing. See what you can learn, learn from it, yeah. you know? And so I just wanted to kind of hammer down on that in terms of partnerships. How do you procure a partnerships network like this with all these amazing brands? I think we're extraordinarily fortunate that the tech community, I believe, is a really unique place to be at the moment. Um, I think everybody understands, you know, the competitive landscape, but equally, um, everybody wants to come together to create um, incredible use case scenarios for um, creating good for, you know, both society and business. Um, we have a phenomenal relationship and um, a partnership with both Microsoft and IBM who um, commit to sort of a headliner status with us, which runs throughout the whole week. Um, and equally, then we have some fantastic um, support from, as you can see, a number of these different brands here. But the special thing about the festival is that it gets cut through. We have grassroots right through to those big corporates. Yeah. And that's the magic. Yeah, exactly. So you mentioned for good, um, Microsoft and IBM being your title sponsors. What, yeah. what is technology for good all about at London Tech Week? I think it's looking at all kinds of scenarios where you know we can um, impact something in, a, in an incredible way. You, you, we were just talking to a lady who was talking about this uh, thermal efficiency app that they're creating and using AI to understand how you would manage um, heating systems. Um, 
And then you talk about other things where we're trying to look at accessibility for all using technology. So mm -hmm. anyone who has some kind of disability will, will be able to experience the world in a much more enriched way. So mm -hmm. just tons and tons of examples of some really awesome things going on. So this is your third year yep. out of the last six years. How have you seen London Tech Week change? Uh, over the last three years? Well, apart from the scale, you know, every year it gets bigger and better. We're seeing so much more involvement, so much more noise around what's actually happening. The international connections are great. This year we have over 7,000 people that have joined us here in the UK to better understand what we're doing here, but we also and equally want to understand what you guys are all doing in other places, sharing best practice, you know, looking at bridging those international trade and investment um, opportunities uh, to really, again, um, establish a fantastic, you know, economic environment for everybody um, in which we can all enjoy it in the long term. So one of the things about London Tech Week that's been quite striking is all the different narratives that are coming out. You know, there's a huge AI presence, but not so much blockchain. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, what, what's the big narrative that you see coming out of this year's London Tech Week that we need to know about? Interestingly, I would, I would spin it out of talking about tech specifically. For us, it's really looking at the digital divide um, and the talent gap that we have. Um, and I think that, you know, that crosses worldwide. We are all in a situation now where we're looking at the future of the workplace, where over, I think, in 10 years' time, 90% of jobs are all going to require digital skills um, and what are we all doing to address that you know we need to be talking to the younger generation we need to be talking to academia and we as an industry need to be owning this so you know there's, there's a lot of things to be looking at so that's that's kind of our, our big message at the moment is in what way is London Tech Week basically helping to address that skills gap we're doing lots of things. I think we're trying to raise awareness um, with school's kids. So we've got a competition running for years 10 and 11, um, getting them involved in uh, trying to come up with some great ideas around using tech, um, around improving, you know, Londoners' lives. Um, we've got some hacking um, workshops for girls. So we're obviously looking at that gender and diversity piece because we think there's a lot of talent that is untapped there. Um, and we're trying to engage, um, we, we work with someone called um, uh, Sherry Kutu. She runs a charity called Founders for Schools, which is about connecting business leaders uh, within schools to inspire the younger generation as well. So uh, she was our charity of choice at the big opening dinner that we had at the Tower of London on Monday night, wow. which was phenomenal. Um, and I think, you know, we're all trying to, that everybody's behind, you know, trying to create this, this surge in, um, in terms of awareness and actually doing something about it yeah i really like the idea of it not being just about the tech but about the application of that tech to create access to health access to education access to financial yeah. services um that narrative about access to when you look at this portfolio of partners here is that a narrative that all of these brands really get behind very very much so um and whether that is you know one of those smaller organizations that has you know, in the weeds, looking at something really specifically in one of those verticals or those narratives, um, right through to these, these these big tech, you know, giants who really are showing us the authenticity around their commitment to, you know, doing awesome things within each of those things you just touched on. Yeah, I'm not talking about it, actually doing about yeah, it. Okay, absolutely. Joanna, so, so, I mean, why do you do what you do? I do what I do because I get a huge kick out of seeing all of the inspiring people around us. The innovation is phenomenal. Um, ultimately, technology is there to enhance all of our lives in one way or another, but it really comes down to the human factor and how we're creating you know, this, this brand new digital world that we're all sitting within. Fantastic. Joanna, thanks for being on the show. Pleasure. Thank you very much, Matt. So basically, if I'm, if I'm correct to understand this, we're trying to encourage the youth to be open to concepts like machine learning and AI, and getting them exposed to that kind of technology as early on as possible, mm -hmm. right? Why? Why so young? 